You know, the whole left side just was completely dead, and you just hear the right side of the end zone, you know, just real loud, you know, and the whole team was excited, you know. It was a big play that we needed, you know, uh, in the red zone. And uh, Mikey Moe, man, he, he, he the best player that could have, the best person that could have made that play for us. You guys actually had, go ahead. Go ahead. You guys actually had a few chances to get interceptions during the game and bobbled them. How, what was it like to, to see it actually him catch up? It was like slow motion. <laughs> it, everything just went so slow, you know. Uh, they're real good in the red zone, and uh, we knew that if they uh, didn't do any power running, that they kind of wanted to uh, get in the seams and try to get uh, short throws that were easier for uh, for him to complete and his higher uh, passing percentage. And, uh, you know, everything was just slow motion, and all of a sudden you see Mikey Moe, long body, just getting in the way to get the pick. Were you a little disappointed to have to come off the field with an injury? Oh, yeah, I was. Uh, you know, I tried to uh, spatter up my ankle and spatter over my cleat and try to get back in there. But, uh, you know, it was it was too sensitive, you know. It too much pressure on it wouldn't allow me to run, so, you know, I, I just had to support my team. Feels a lot better after the win. Yeah, you know, uh, I caught myself trying to hop around on it, you know, forgetting I was injured. <laughs> it had to calm down a little bit, but uh, you know, uh, the victory, man, over overshadows, man, the injuries. You know, uh, the bad thing about it, I gotta wake up tomorrow and it's gonna be worse. <laughs> you guys lost contain on Gerhardt a couple of times, but players make plays. Mostly, you guys were able to force him pretty well and, and contain him. Talk about that. Uh, you know, we knew they wanted to come into the game and, uh, you know, establish the run game, you know, in the trenches, you know, they're, they're real big in there, you know, and uh, he's a big, he's a big time player, you know, and uh, we knew to, to be able to win this game, we had to stop the run, you know, and uh, get to uh, the running back, you know, and get as many bodies around him because he's so strong and he's elusive to be that big. So it was just about stopping him, and I think uh, we was able to respond up front, you know, in our uh, secondary, was able to get around the ball today. It wasn't like they drived on us, it was just like a big play happens, you know. The first one was a big play happen. The second one, the quarterback scrambled, you know, missed a tackle and put him in position to make the play. So we knew it was about us, you know. Uh, we came into the locker room and, uh, you know, uh, had to re identify ourselves as a D and uh, just really uh, made the corrections and, uh, Make sure everybody knew their fit. The pick on you and, and you deflect it. Do you ever say anything back to the receiver or tell the receiver to go tell the quarterback to, to leave you alone? <laughs> nah, I just ask him, do I watch film? <laughs> did, did he watch enough film on me? <laughs> nah, but uh, I made a deflection. I uh, kind of went over to kind of a little, about 10, 5 yards away from the quarterback. Just let him know that I was out there, you know. And, uh, he kind of left me alone a little bit until the fourth quarter, you know, and uh, I was basically tell him that I want I want a reception too, you know. Uh, he got an extra receiver on the field if he, he want to throw it to me. <laughs> what, was, what was it like for you on the field after the game? I know obviously the ankle, but who was lifting you up and all that? Uh, a random fan. <laughs> he just asked me if I want to pick, be picked up. I said, sure. I was hoping he'd carry me to the locker room. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> You know, it felt good uh, to have all your uh, fan support, you know, be out here and uh, just crowd the field after the game, you know, and uh, me being up there on the shoulders looking down, man, it was a heck of an experience, you know. Uh, you know, the, the Berkeley fans really appreciate what we do for the community, you know, and uh, this program, you know, and it, it just felt good uh, to bring the axe back home, just not to the football team or the uh, the university, but to the fans that support us. Where does this rank on your uh, all-time big game list? Uh, this, this is my, this is my biggest game right here. You know, uh, you really don't know or get that emotional feel for the big game until it's your last year. You know, I've been through three other uh, or four other uh, previous big games, and you know, each one just means that much more each year, though. And uh, this one means a lot, though, because. You know, if we was to lose this game, I can't come back and play and try to redeem myself. You know, but this is my last one, and I, you know, I was uh, got a victory, man. I, I still hold the action in my belt.